What's the Shackles Gang? This is Jalil Shackles, a year of ice crew, giving you relationship advice, general advice, and spreading love and positivity. I post YouTube videos Monday through Thursday, so be sure to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and definitely hit that notification bell so you receive my uploads. And thank you guys for tuning into this video. Now, today's video is a request by Bernard Viney, and it reads, How to get over getting your feelings hurt when somebody betrays you. So the first thing you got to do is realize that everybody's human. They're going to make mistakes. They may not know exactly what they did to betray you, but you have to let them know. And if you let them know before and you figure that there's some bro code that they didn't follow, you need to reestablish it and let them know like, hey, you know, this is what the case is. And as number two, don't be afraid to confront that person that does betray you. Don't sit here and let it bottle inside and then you're sitting in a state of depression or anger and not allowing that to vent across. Things have happened to me in my life and I continue to strive and become a better person. Even the person that physically did things to me, I forgave them and somewhat still struggle with the forgiveness aspect but as far as getting over it you have to first realize that human secondly you have to confront that person as hard as it may seem thirdly you have to not take things super personal when you understand the fact that they're human and that they're going to make mistakes you don't hold such high entitlement on that person like yes they're your friend but things can change the deeper you make the title, the more it will affect you. So you have to protect and guard your heart, guard yourself, and always, always have a little guard over your heart. That's number three, having a guard over your heart so that people can't technically disbarge you. Like, it's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to be yourself, and it is okay to trust people. But at the same time, you have to think logically and be like, if this person is going to betray me they don't need to see that it affects me they could just bounce and get out of my life so number four don't be afraid to block them on social medias like instagram facebook twitter or block them by cell phone usage even if it's for a period of time because you need time to heal from that pain that hurt the feeling of i can't trust this person or how do I go about finding myself within the dynamics of that person betraying me? Like, how do I know whether or not I could trust that person again? Number five, if you decide that you want this person to remain in your life, they have to take the automatic steps in order to rekindle that friendship, that relationship. Because it's not just, oh, yeah, you know, you're going to get back with me and we're going to do this all over again. And don't worry, you could betray me again. It's like, no. You have to earn my trust again. And if they don't want to earn it, then they're not meant for you. Just because somebody starts out along your journey does not mean that they're meant to stay. Maybe they were meant for that period of time. But you have to know what you want. You have to know whether or not you want to deal with this person. You have to know whether or not you still feel like, you know what, I'm going to give them another shot after they betrayed you. Do not feel obligated to put yourself in the presence of someone that is going to take from you and not give back in some way, shape, or form. Like biblically speaking, you don't give goals to the pigs as they will trample all over it. Meaning that they have no regards to how you feel. They don't really care. They care in the way that you noticed. In the way that, say somebody cheats. The only reason why they're like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm apologetic. is because they got caught. They did not think about their actions when it initially happened. Now, if it's a case where they cheated. And it, they use the excuse they got drunk or whatever. And it happened one time. Okay, but a lot of the times when people do cheat, it's a repetitive thing. It's an unconscious thing, and they keep on doing it until they get caught. See where I'm going with this? So you really have to focus on 
what you want for yourself. Take time out for yourself. Don't focus so much on the issue and the person that hurt you. Focus more so on who you are as a person, what you stand for, what you will tolerate, and what you will not tolerate. And when you feel hurt, allow yourself time to get over the emotions. It's not gonna happen right away. At the same time, you can't harbor those feelings and emotions. Number six, if I haven't said number five already, you have to make time for yourself to distract yourself from that sense of betrayal so that you could get your emotions together, that you could feel comfortable in your own essence and make sure that you're taking the proper steps and don't just jump right back in like everything is kosher that the situation never happened they have to work in order to gain your trust because they need to value you to not do it again it's not just oh i forgive you don't worry all bygones are bygones no they need to work for it to value you at the highest expense and know that all right, this person's a good person. If I betray this person again, it's just not gonna happen because I don't wanna lose them as a person. So don't take it where you flip it and it's like you become a dependent of them. They are now in the hands of you and your decisions. You take charge, you take those measures to make sure that this person knows how you feel. You don't necessarily need to get revenge, but they need to take the proper steps in order to gain your trust to set that sense of value. So, Bernard, I hope I helped you with this. Then comment in the section below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know times that you guys have been betrayed. And let me know how you went about handling those emotions. Your little shackles devices.